What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, today I want to talk about Tessica Brown. Now, why are we talking about Tessica Brown? We know about her with the Gorilla Glue and how ridiculous that was. And, you know, she got that taken care of. She had surgery. But I want to talk about Lonnie Love with regards to Tessica Brown. Now, the reason why I'm talking about that is because Tessica Brown and Lonnie Love have somewhat a commonality in the two. <laughs> right? Now, Lonnie Love is, can't find a man. What? Neither can Tessica Brown because Tessica Brown is a single mother with five children. But Lonnie Love feels sorry for her. She has empathy for her and she wants to help. Okay? Now, if you look at Tessica Brown now, she's getting Mercedes Benz's. <clears throat> you know, she has millions of Instagram followers and she's pretty much gotten a following for being stupid. Let's just be honest. That's what she's gotten a, a following for doing. She, 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 she put Gorilla Glue in her hair, which is the, one of the dumbest things that anybody can do. You know, one guy put it on his lips. And again, you know, nobody's having any, uh, you know, sympathy for the guy rather, you, you know. But, you know, what we're talking about is in reality, the problem in black America is that we are willing to help those who have made a fool out of themselves, okay? And we can rally around those people who do stupid things. That's what we're talking about here. That is exactly what we're talking about here, guys. But what about the people, in all actuality, who are doing the right thing, who are doing what they're supposed to do, that need help? All the single black women out there who are not married, who don't put Gorilla Glue in their hair, who don't have five kids, who are working hard, all the black men out there who don't put Gorilla Glue on their lips, who don't put Gorilla Glue on their hair, who are doing the right thing, the black community doesn't do anything to help these people. But it's, but, 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 but when you can do something stupid and impact yourself to do dumb things, here comes the concern or the fake caring from black America. And I'm sorry, I, what I'm going to say now is going to be controversial, but it has to be said. I stay away from these topics a lot when we look at the Black Lives Matter things and some of these guys who have lost their lives. Now, for, for sure, some of them, I thought it should have never happened. It was just, a, you know, but for some guys, it's like, come on, bro. What, what are you doing? Like, what were you thinking? Don't say anything about it. Don't want to make a video about it. I keep it to myself. But you look at the guy's past record. You look at the guy's situation. He has a history of doing similar things, although that's not on trial, though, right? But what I'm saying is, is that, bro, like, what were you, what were you trying to do? How did you get to that point? And then when a guy puts himself in a position, you know, to meet uh, or get arrested, although, like I said, it's not justified, but come on, guy, like, what were you doing to even be there in the first place? Although the guy doesn't deserve to die, here comes the black community throwing its support and love for a person who, in my opinion, a lot of times 
you don't throw your support around the people who, I mean, this guy got killed and now all of a sudden now you care. What about the guy when he was coming up before he had a situation where he was going on that path? You didn't care at all. That is my concern. You know, the black community, it seems that as if, you know, when people are doing some things that are idiotic, that don't make no sense, all of a sudden now we have so much care for folk. We got so much care for folk. You know? So much. We can care for everybody. But when it comes to folks doing the right thing, now all of a sudden, you know, we can't help them. And Tessica Brown has got notoriety for being an idiot. Okay, doing like putting Gorilla Glue in your hair and then thinking about suing, then you get support like you're getting for this. Surgeons offering you free treatment, people, giving you free benzes. What about the people that actually are doing things in the black community? Okay, what about that? But we don't do that. Not at all. And that is the problem. It's the complete problem. You don't want to talk about it, but we got to talk about it. Then you want to know, want to know why so many African-Americans get so disgusted with our own communities. Look at the priorities. And when people say that we prioritize the people at the bottom while shaming those who do the right thing, this is an example of that. And if we want to even talk about black women, we can even leave men out of the equation. Again, said the same thing in my Canada video. What about the women who are unlike Jessica Brown, who don't have any kids, who are working two jobs, going to school, not getting pregnant, trying to find the right guy, barely making it. For her, you can't help her. You know? There's nothing, in, you know, it's like you, in black America, you cannot get recognized unless you're doing something like really controversial or a lot of times things that don't make any damn sense. Then folk will come in back for you. Then you want to ride for you. And then if you want to know why, how we are behind many other groups, and I hate to say it, want to know why we're behind other groups? Because of this. We're behind other groups because of this. Other groups do not promote and give support pit, support systems to people who do dumbass things. You know, the more outlandish and in, 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 in the in the the, the 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 more dumb or foolish a person can do in Black America is like, oh, we need to support you. Then you wonder why your best people leave. Then you wonder why they don't come back. Then you wonder why they don't want to help us. Then you wonder why they're done. Why they talk 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 about the black community and the way that they do. Can you blame them? Then you want to call them names when they don't want to come back. Well, look, well, if I got to put Gorilla Glue on my face or Gorilla Glue in my hair or my lips to get some support from the black America, I don't want it. Then they would be right. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. Check out the Patreon guys. And as you know, the buffoonery always remains at an all-time high. I'm out.